What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Today I'll be talking about my top five Cydia tweaks of February 2014. Now, well, most YouTubers don't necessarily do this. Not most YouTubers, YouTubers that do jailbreak tweaks. They don't usually make a top five video or top ten video in the beginning of the month. So I decided I'm gonna do one and hopefully you guys like it. Um, a lot of Cydia tweaks came out the last two weeks and I wasn't able to review all of them. Sorry for that. I can only manage so many times with basketball and this and school and all that. But I tried right so this is not one of my tweaks right here this is actually a display recorder it's been giving me some problems which is why I'm in the app itself but right now it seems to be working so let's get to our first CD tweak which is of course multitasking get gestures I hope I'm saying that word right so say I'm inside a display recorder like I am right now well instead of using traditional multitasking which is double clicking with the app called multitasking gestures I can simply swipe to the right and it will bring me to the application I was using last. Inside of settings, there aren't necessarily any settings for this, but this does relate to another Twix City tweak that came out back in iOS 6 called Zephyr. Anyhow, you can also go back, which is simply swiping to the left. There's one other awesome option that you can use with this. Say you want to close an application and for two reasons. For one, say your home button's broken, then you can use this. Or number two, you just want to look awesome and that's why you want to use this. So what am I talking about? Well, I can simply swipe upward and voila, there goes the application. So that's multitasking gestures. It brings a little bit of a snazz, if that's the right word, to your iPhone. And it's a cool thing to show off if you don't like using buttons. Why you be hating on buttons? Anyhow, let's get to City of Tweak number two. Now, this City of Tweak is called Jelly Lock 7. Now, this was also back from uh, iOS 6. And personally, I really, really like it. Um, if you look on my lock screen right now, let's see if I can access my lock screen. Okay, nice little beats in the background. You see this random circle right here that looks like a touch ID that's not on your home button. So when you go ahead and place your finger on that, it automatically gives you a variety of shortcuts. Those shortcuts are customizable inside of settings, and I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that in about one second. First, I want to show you how you use this. You have this little uh, cool little circle thingy. Personally, I wish it was a square. That's my favorite shape. Don't judge. All right, if I swipe it to the left, I can instantaneously access my camera. I'm sure you can access it from here, but please. We're City of Tweak hackers. Why the heck would we use traditional methods? And finally, you can unlock your device two ways. You can swipe to the right using the traditional way, or you can use this thing and unlock like that. So let me go into settings and show you exactly what the City of Tweak tweaks settings looks like. So there's Jelly Lock 7. Has that cool little logo with a circle inside of it. And then after you mess around with this, yes, it does require a respring but you guys probably know why. So let's see, from here on out, you can customize your shortcuts. You can have up to five shortcuts and you can uh, have a separate app for each one of those shortcuts. So if I were to go into say number one and not want movie box to be number one, I might want to change it to say Twitter or Instagram or something else that I use a lot. Next off, we have behavior. Here you can disable the default unlock which is what I showed you. And you can also disable the traditional camera method as well in case you don't want that and you wanna look awesome. Maybe I'll go do that after I'm done with this video. And finally, you can mess around with the appearance. From here on out, you can actually change the size of that circle thing I showed you. So you can make it bigger or smaller. Right now I have it as big as possible, but if you want it nice and tiny, you can go ahead and do that as well. You can also mess around with the opacity, you know, that little blurred background in the, ba uh, in the background, obviously. Then of course you can go ahead and move it down or up depending on how much of the blur effect you want. Then finally, you have the circle color. Default is actually clear, but you can change it to basically every single color from magenta to cayenne to brown. I don't know why you'd want a brown one, but mm, who knows people these days. All right, and finally you have simple things such as show badges and you disable any of these, blur background, and of course the landscape, which only goes for the iPad. I suggest you don't mess around with that. If you own an iPhone, it might mess something up. Anyhow, guys, you can thank these guys by following them on Twitter and do a few other things, but that's enough for Jelly Lock 7. I spent way too long on that CD tweak. So let's move on to number three. All right, guys, so for our third city of tweak, I'm back in display recorder and you're like, what the heck happened? Why is your display all dark? Well, this tweak is made for all you guys who like to use your phones at night. 
everyone. So of course, someone had to make a CD tweak for it. And basically, it takes all the colors inside of your actual applications and doesn't invert them, but basically makes them darker. So if it's white, it makes it black. If it's uh, yellow, it makes it a light gray. You get where I'm going. So let's go ahead and see what settings looks like. Now this does affect all your applications and they're still working on updating some of the applications that don't work. Like Twitter looks really weird, like really weird after you get this, but I'm sure you can handle it. And once this tweak is 100% complete, it should look pretty awesome. So here is settings. As you can see, that little lag right there actually helped, for mo helped me for once, considering it showed you what the white looks like and what the black version looks like. So here is Black Cydia, not being racist, ha. Um, so this this is technically what Eclipse does. It makes it gives your iPhone a nice night mode and turns all the white, black buttons into orange. So if you're into Halloween, go ahead and mess with that. So that's basically all Eclipse does. There's a bunch of settings, but I'm gonna leave you in suspense and let you try those settings out on your own when you go ahead and get the city tweak. Let's move on to our last two. Alright guys, so this is a short and simple one, and you guys are probably wondering, why the heck is my switcher all blurred up? Well, this tweak is actually called Switcher Blur, and it allows you to have a little bit more privacy. Say you use BioLock, in which you can lock your, uh, what would you call it, switcher with your fingerprint. If you want ultimate security and don't want them to see anything at all, such as your messages, or better yet, your email, then this is probably a very, very, very useful tweak. Now, I don't know how many people are that crazy when it comes to security, but maybe you guys just want it to match your iOS 7 look. I know it does lag a little bit on here because it's an iPhone 4, really sorry about that, but if you have an iPhone 5, 5C, 5S, or even better yet, a 4S, or worse yet, a 4S, I don't really know what to call a 4S, sort of in the middle of things. But if you have any of those devices, then this tweak should work perfectly fine on there. So enough with switcher blur, in the settings you can enable or disable certain applications to be blurred and not blurred. As you can see, I actually want to see when display recorder is recording, which is why I don't have that blurred. But anyhow, it is really simple, if you want to go ahead and get it, well, go get it. Why are you asking me? Alright guys, let's move on to our last city tweak of the day. So I've been mostly reviewing productivity CD tweaks. These are all really, really awesome, I must say, compared to some of the CD tweaks that came out in my first top 10 video. But this last one is actually really, really cool and it looks amazing on, say, an iPhone 5, 5C, or 5S. Now, as you can see, this is my lock screen right here. This dot right here, as I reviewed before, is not part of the CD tweak, but it does minimalize everything. If I had my slide to unlock right here, that would also be shrunk down to a smaller size. But the main thing you can notice is the fact that the wallpaper stands out a lot more and the fact that it's 1259.41. So yes, this is the day I'm recording this video and this is the day you're most likely seeing it, but maybe not. So as you can see, there's a seconds thing right there. That is one of the things you can do with the Cydia Tweak, besides shrinking down your clock and slide to unlock bar. So let's go ahead and mess around with some of the settings that come with the Cydia Tweak. So inside we see Subtle Lock, which is what the Cydia Tweak is called. I know you guys want me to put all the names in the description, but I am sadly a very, very lazy person. So if you guys keep begging enough, maybe I'll do it. But... I don't know, sorry for being lazy, but making these videos is a lot of work, and then description, and this, and tags, and timing, oh god. Alright, enough ranting, let's move on to the settings. So inside of the settings, you can enable or disable the clock seconds, which is shrinking down the clock. If you want to shrink your slider or hide your slider completely, you can also do that. And finally, miscellaneous, which allows you to do things like change the label colors, or hide the date, or hide the camera grabber, so on and so forth. There's even one for clock translation. But that's basically what Subtle Lock allows you to do. These are my top 5 CD tweaks of 2014. Yes, I didn't make a mistake for once. In like every single one of my videos, I accidentally say top 5 CD tweaks of 2013. Thank God I didn't do that for once. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, leave a like, and you should probably click that share button too so other people can see it. And I'm talking really fast. I don't really know why. Anyhow, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Please subscribe. This is going to be me logging off.